Okay, so this is um, hunting for purple street lights in Kansas City video something. I'm not sure what number it is right now. We have a light off right here in front of us in this roundabout. Um, right now I'm at Lucy Webb and Dean Avenue in a roundabout, just driving in a circle here. Um, the best way to use this video is to use the description because you can find different time points that I've annotated in it to show you important things. And you can also read what I have to say there. Um, now I'm going west, I'm sorry, east on Lucy Webb. Um, you can play this video at 2x. Um, I do drive kind of slow because I want to actually do, do this safely and still look around at different things and then show you if I see something. Um, okay, this says Metal Lark here. Anyway, you can see the last video, um, but basically we came up Dean Avenue and I was looking around at an area that I already saw some of in um, video 25. I want to look at some of the other areas here um, to see what there might be at certain points. Okay, let's see. Old paint. Hopefully I don't have a different name for these streets than what it says on maps. I hate it when that happens. Um, eventually I want to take a right here and then go south all the way down back to Habeck. Habeck? I don't know how to pronounce that. And see if we have any purple street lights, construction, uh, mercury vapor lights, for example, etc. Okay, this is Fox Ridge right here. I'm going to take her right. And I'm going to take this down. Okay, this light looks like it might be cycling above us. I don't know if it becomes like a greener one on camera or what. I'm going to take this down to Hubach eventually. Or no, actually, no, I'm sorry. This connects to... Uh, to Dean Avenue actually. And then I'm gonna come up basically the other way to come up to this. Not all the way up to here, but at a certain point to Fox Ridge. Okay, it looks like that's a cycling light and it just happens to be at the intersection there. Okay, this is, oh, I can't quite read that. Colt Drive. Connects to Dean. Uh, Old Mill is what it says to the left. That's basically, I think, the road that I'm going to come back up on eventually here. I do see, actually, I'm going to turn around. I might actually have to put it. I don't know if the green lights around the houses are important, but I do notice that they kind of tend to be in important areas. And I don't know how to work that out exactly, whether there's some kind of checkpoint or what. Okay, this is Buffalo Grass Drive. I'm going to turn around and I'm actually going to show you that it's there. This road is uh, Cedar Crest, by the way. That's what it looks like down there. This is uh, Buffalo Grass. That's what it looks like to the left. And there's nothing to the right. Um,
This is old paint. That's what it says here. And there's like a greenish light, like on the, what is that, the third house maybe? It looks like it's shining up, so. Those might be a signal. Just some kind. You can look at it on a map, whatever. I'm keeping track of it, at least those and the ones that are blue. Okay, so I did pass Old Mill, I guess. Um, actually, I'm going to come up on Old Mill later, if I can remember. Connecting to Havoc. I kind of, I want to take Lucy Webb again, because I actually wanted to get the part that's in between Fox Ridge and over to where I've seen it so far, which would be Madison. So, I'm going to do that. I also saw a little bit of light on my house, so I guess we're going to go back. I kind of want to see the frequency of those lights. But I don't want the trip to be like too long. But I guess when I think about it, it's a simple enough trip after this. And a lot of it's at a higher rate of speed than right now. So I think it's probably okay. Look at a couple hours. Like, like in the actual blocks here. So one, two, three. And then we got a blue light on a house here. And a red hat. A red light at the door. Okay, to the right is just a circle. And I didn't see anything special there. Okay, this is Wrangler. Okay, I'm not sure how Wrangler is attached to these other roads, but I think I could probably take a left and at least get back up to um, Fox Ridge. So I'm gonna go up this way. Fox Ridge. Okay, I'm going to take a route that's going to basically, I'm going to take Bristow eventually. Um, and then go up to Lucy Webb and then take that path. I want to make sure that I get Lucy Webb on the west end. Because I have not seen it. Um, I don't think I've actually seen it after Madison. Like actually uh, west of Madison. It also allows me to look at this. Okay, so this is Fox Run Lane. Don't see anything special. Don't see anything special here. Okay, this is Stone Gate. It says no outlet. Don't see anything special there. Um, actually, we got to Lucy Webb sooner than I thought. So we didn't take the route that I was thinking, actually, which I can probably find here. All right, so from this road, we're going uh, westward now. There's an LED light here at this intersection, but just a regular one. Okay, this is uh, Huntsman, which actually is a road that I want to take. So I'm going to go I just remembered I actually wanted to fill in that space. Um, yeah, I'll work that out later. Okay, there is actually like what looks kind of like a bug zapper there, which does look like what I would consider a special light. Um, this is Pelham Hills. To the right, that's what we see.
Tyler. We have green lights on a house there. Oh, there's some vehicles in the way. That's like the second house again. They tend to be like in the first or second house usually. It seems like to me. But remember, there's also a second house on the other side. And I'm not sure what the average number of houses there are on a block. Okay, this is Koi. This is Bayou. There's nothing to the right, to the left. That's what we see. This is Shelby Drive. Looking down Shelby Drive, I don't see anything special. At least doesn't mean that there isn't, but we're more likely to see it. I'm not pointing the camera there. Um, Cody. That looks kind of dark. Don't see anything though. Okay, this is Johnson. Okay. I'm gonna go straight here, actually. Um, take to the right. This is Stacy. Nothing. Oh, there actually is something on the right there. So we might come back and Stacy again. This is Christy Lane. I see blue lights there. Green lights, really. This is uh, Roberta Drive. This is, uh, I'm going to say Copper. Copper. There is some kind of light and like a little fountain there, but I don't see anything that looks really blue or green. Okay, and then we're gonna stop some here. This is, uh, I think if we go to the right, it goes back down again, um, past those roads, but the other direction. I'm gonna keep going straight here though, but I do wanna go back down that path. Oh, I see a blue light. Um, I think that's probably the one at uh, Debrowery, De you can look at it on the map here a little bit. Um, Cumberback? Okay, no, it's not though. Okay, that's a different one. I don't know if that's a dead end right there or what. So that could be like a light that's not near head of the block. I can't read that one, but it's really dark over there. This is Coins. Cinnabar? I don't know what it's a Cinnabar maybe? Okay. And then this is uh, Ore or something like that. There's a blue light on the first house. I don't see anything after that. Okay, now we're at an intersection here. And this should be Route 58. I'm gonna take a right. And we got these cones here, okay? Okay, this is by Culver's. So they're doing some kind of construction here by Culver's. If you look at a map, there actually is a way to get down south over there. But that's really close to this construction stuff, so I don't know, guys. Is that gonna be even a route? To, to take, basically, that's what I wonder. Oh, we can't take it. Okay. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna go back now to this, and then I'm gonna take a left. I can actually do one of a couple things here. Um, I want to go down each of the roads because I want to get a sample of the lights because I see some that are blue that tend to be at the heads of neighborhoods or at important areas and I kind of want to get an idea of like what it actually looks like and I have not looked at this myself um, that's where you might have to kind of I guess, put in actually look at every single one I didn't like choose my route based upon what I saw already 
I just actually want to look at routes that go north and south down towards Hubbock or whatever that's called because that would be an evacuation route and I wanted to see if there's any construction or street lights or anything like that here. Okay, so let's take a left here. This might be a dead end, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's go. Okay. Oh, this might be the one that goes over by Culver's. I'm not sure. Oh, bet it is. So this is like a hill, guys. Like a like quite an elevated area here up there. And then we have these barricades there. So any kind of shortcut here, I don't know if that's even possible. Let's go a little bit further just to see what this looks like over here. Obviously during the day would be a better time to look at that stuff, but I can't look at the street lights at that time, so that's why I pick at night. Okay, this is Mott Drive here. Uh, I'm going to take an actual left here again. We're looking to the right, that's what we see. Don't see anything special. Okay, looking to the left here. You can see the digging equipment there. Seems kind of dark right here. I think one of the lights is off at least. But then we also have a light on. Oh, it actually we just couldn't see it. It's the angle. And then the other LED light is really lame, guys. Like right there, that's a really lame light, guys. I don't know why they need these lame lights. And then there is a fountain. Oh, we missed it. There's a fountain there that's purple. Like violet purple color in the water, okay. So I'm going to take, I'm going to turn right back on Huntsman here again. And then we'll take the other left and we'll go down the blocks so we can see those other blocks basically. To get a sample of them and see if, you know, our purple lights on houses are really frequent or like blue lights, green lights, etc. So we took the left that I just went past there. I'm gonna take the left here because this might be the one that actually connects. Oh, this looks like a dead end, so that's why it doesn't even look familiar to me. Okay, so that looks like a dead end, that's dark. This is Kimberwick, which might actually also be a dead end. But this is where they have that blue light and the red light here. It is okay, so it says no outlet. So this here doesn't seem to be marking like a a point at the end of the block or like delimiting some kind of gate or something like that. You might be able to use or anything. Somebody get bombed or chemicals dropped or something like that. By the way, it's kind of interesting if you look at uh, like I've looked at some of the locations in Naples, Florida, where they have clusters of lights and. I think that like at certain times of the year the the wind actually blows like from the southeast and it's kind of interesting because if it does blow from the southeast the positions of the lights are actually not that bad in those places and I can also think of examples um, I think most examples a lot of examples where in the Midwest or upper Midwest purple street lights if you look at what's to the west of them I'm sorry what's to the east of them um, like with the wind, for example, at a lot of times of the year, or actually places that if there were chemicals dropped or that uh, were in the air that blew, that um, you know, vehicles and stuff would probably stall and people would probably choke to death in those other places. And it would definitely, things would come to a screeching halt, I would think. If it was like organophosphates that were dropped in like liquid form that kept evaporating or whatever from the ground it's kind of concerning to me okay like if you look at where groups of them are at least 
All right, so I'm gonna probably just weave in and out of this for a little bit, because I actually want to see like how frequent these other kinds of lights are. I know we saw an example where it's not, doesn't seem the least to be in an important area. But let's just look anyway. And you, if you listen to my other videos, you've already heard this, but the positions of the purple street lights in like Southwest Florida, um, it's not really the same as here uh, much of the time. Much of the time, they look like they mark um, checkpoints, whereas in uh, Southwest Florida, they're hardly ever on the road directly, um, but they're still somewhere near those areas, and they tend to be in groups, like in a parking lot or in a neighborhood, or at least maybe like two of them at like a gated neighborhood gate. And if you look at where the gated neighborhood gates that are on the maps are, uh, it's interesting on a map. And most of them don't have those purple lights, but when they do, it's usually bisymmetrical and it looks aesthetic, but the level of purple of those lights isn't even always the same. And you can tell that they're a factory defect. They're not really purple. They're just kind of purple and on camera, they're really purple. And like I said, they're not always the same. So that's, uh, that's definitely a giveaway that they're defective. And in many cases, I was able to actually show, at least visually, I was able to see um, that one part is more purple than the other inside of the fixture and that it's actually um, like a panel inside. So I know what I know. You have to do a lot of research in different places to know what I know. But I know that it's for visibility from the air. It's not for a direct effect of the light on people or for cameras to see either. It's absolutely for visibility from the air for something to find those areas. Well, the other possibility is it's for satellite looking down. But the problem I think with that, at least is not to find, it's not for like denoting one little checkpoint. Let's put it that way. And they use a lot more lights than they need to, like filling neighborhoods with them um, near the edge of like Naples. So I don't, and also the, the spectrum that they emit, that's like in the ultraviolet spectrum and it scatters a lot in the atmosphere. So by the time it gets in outer space, I'd have to really wonder why it would be brighter than the other lights anyway, and why it wouldn't just be a beacon for something to track something and why they don't just put them on the road the same way over there and why they don't use them in a lot of other places they don't use them very often seems to me like it's a lot like it's a means of um, attracting weapons drones or something that is released in those that general area probably to stop people from leaving their city Okay, there's that light. Looks kind of aqua color. Why well, have lights that are like two blocks or something like that even sometimes from a main evacuation route, but with lots of them there? Still kind of following suit with what you see, but they're just not on the route. They can just use the freaking, like, the rows of lights, like, and figure out where the streets are, guys. They don't need those lights for a satellite at all. They haven't been using them in the past. They don't need them now. Sorry guys, I didn't read the street. Um, if you're really serious about this though, you can do this anyway. Um, but I'll try to read the streets when I see them. Okay, so this is, we're coming back up to Huntsman. And I think we get, we should go straight ahead too because, let's see if I can read the street that we're on. Okay, this is uh, Johnston. Okay, so if I go straight, there's also a parallel stretch just to Huntsman and we can look at the houses there. But this does not connect west to anything, unless it's changed from what I saw on Google Maps. So first I'm gonna go north, 
on this. Actually, though, it looks kind of like it does connect straight over there. I don't know. It's like really dark, but um, you can look at it on the map. I don't think it's anything. Or maybe they just haven't built there yet. You can look at my Twitter and I put a bunch of examples. Like I try to put one picture for each street light that's purple in neighborhoods. And some of them are only slightly defective, you can barely tell on camera, and I didn't include all those. Like I think there are more lights that will eventually be purple in the neighborhoods, some of the neighborhoods that I looked at. One, one neighborhood, almost all the freaking lights are purple. And it's near the edge of Naples. And across the street from it, the other neighborhood also has lights that are purple. And so it's like, okay, there's, there's just no way, guys. And if you look at where they are, though, they're not directly on the route. And in fact, there's an area by, uh, I'm trying to remember the exact street, it's like Pass, maybe Passe or something like that. Um, it connects to um, Collier in Naples, and it also connects up to US 41, and it's uh, east of Walmart in Naples there. Okay, so there is a blue light right there on that house. It's not like really bright though. And then, okay, there are these lights right here. Oh, actually, there's a blue one there, okay? But that's not shining up into the sky, at least. Then we have these blue lights on this house. This is, I think, like the last block that you can take and go, okay, so this is, yeah, this is that weird name one, Darobi. And then over there is Walmart and eventually the interstate, guys. There is Outer Road also. Okay, so that's, that's not a coincidence to me at all. Uh, that's basically kind of what I wanted to look at here. And I didn't know this, but now I do know. Those lights almost seem like they're intentionally like that. Now maybe they saw somebody who put them up that way and then they're like, oh, I want to imitate them. Okay, I'm, it's possible. And the other two people did that, that are near them. That's possible. Nonetheless, how many of those blue lights have we seen? We've seen, oh, not this one. This is a dead end though, so I don't know if it matters. Um, this one is, uh, oh, this is that one road, okay, that uh, does connect, okay. But going south from here, they could actually go north though, that's a possibility, uh, and then take uh, Route 58. But from here at least, at least, oh, no, I'm sorry, wrong block, that's a dead end. I don't know, I'm not sure if these other lights mean anything, but remember they're the blue lights and the, the blue and the red light right here. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's important or not. Okay. Just keeping note of that. Okay, I'm gonna take a left because it'll be easier for me to identify the road that I also want to go eastward on from here. Let's do another area. See, we're almost at 30 minutes though, so actually I'm gonna just stop this. Yeah, I'm going to stop this video just because um, we're close enough to that point that it's just going to be a, another truck. So.